My name is Monty. I am from Millard West High School. I plead not guilty. That is not to say I did not steal the cookie. I definitely stole the cookie. I just don't believe that cookie theft is a crime worthy of intergalactic court. Particularly this cookie, which tasted like it was baked in the fire and brimstone of hell to tempt little children into studying their parents' tax forms. Because it sucks all joy out of life. Anyways, space peers, it surprised me to find out that intergalactic court functioned much the same as the American court system, right down to the jury of my peers being a group of people I have never met. Another surprising similarity is all you space aliens speak an Earth language, just like in the movies. <laughs> my first point will be a list of things that tasted better than the cookie. A Sprite can. A Mac keyboard. A glass mannequin head half full of gumballs. To prove the arbitrariness of intergalactic law involving dessert, I licked all those things. <laughs> Two-thirds of them were salty. Three-thirds of them tasted better than the cookie. Just how much better, you ask? Well, to figure that out, go down to your local shop class and find a little pile of sawdust. And then using nothing but a glue stick, shape it into a patty. And then stick it in your mouth and chew it! <laughs> that is roughly the texture of the aforementioned baked good. If your planet does not have shop classes, find a lollipop and wrap it in sandpaper, and then lick it until you get to the center. It'll take too many licks. Space peers, those were not chocolate chips. Those were a byproduct of fracking. And that cookie tasted old enough to be rejected by Noah and all the animals on his ark. Now, turn to the entity on your right and imagine them without a mouth. Everything else is exactly the same, but they have no mouth. Their kitchen is populated by the same utensils, microwaves, toasters, and ovens, but they have no mouth. This demographic is the only place I can imagine that could possibly enjoy these discs of discarded sawdust molested by molten obsidian and served with a glass of pure lies instead of milk. <laughs> because they have no mouths, but they have ovens. So I ask you space peers, and I ask you God, and I ask you, space god, and I ask you, audience at home, was it not in the pursuit of justice that I stole the base good? My aunt and uncle had ordered it from my brother's wrestling fundraiser, and if I had not intercepted the disgusting thing, they would have suffered the worst of fates. A disappointing dessert. And also, they hadn't paid yet, so there's that too.